snow is perfect for cleaning your solar panels. Beautiful day. Well, here we are. Dinosaur Provincial Park in Alberta. Beautiful spot. I haven't seen any dinosaurs yet. But it's time for lunch. One of those great bonuses about camping in the winter time is you can find provincial parks with nobody in them. I've got the whole campground to myself. I think there's got to be about a hundred sites. There's nobody here, just me. So, peace and quiet, I got it. Some people thought I was being a little bit of a wuss by going to an RV park in the winter time, but it's not about being a wuss or not. This isn't, this isn't about you know, how manly can you be in the winter? It's about having fun. And this is so enjoyable, being out here with the coyotes. This is what it's all about. Dinosaur Provincial Park is a World Heritage Site covering 28 square miles of Alberta Badlands. It is most famous for its fossil discoveries including 35 species of dinosaur, some dating back over 75 million years. It is also the home of a diverse variety of plants and animals, including antelope, rattlesnakes, and cacti. Although popular by tourists in the summer, by winter it is given back to the calm and tranquility of nature. Winter is the best time for tracking animals, as the snow leaves a perfect record of who's been there. I decided to track a set of hoof prints on an open ridge through the sandstone hills. Down in the valley, something's got the attention of one mule deer. But it looks like something else has captured the coyote's attention. Now hidden from sight, this cottontail is safe for the time being. With that diner closed, the coyote heads off for another fast food joint. No trip to the Badlands would be complete if I didn't at least try to find some prehistoric remains. So I headed for the trail of the fossil hunters. Yes, this would be easier if there was no snow, but it doesn't hurt to try.
After a little while, I actually found what I was looking for. Dinosaur bones. Now you shouldn't be surprised that they were actually behind glass, as it helps to keep them off eBay. But you can warm up your bones and get friendly with dinosaurs at the Park Visitor Center. While not as big as the Royal Tyrell Museum in Drumheller, it's still a great chance to see the Cretaceous monsters up close. Apparently I don't do enough videos of what I eat, so tonight it's hash browns and veggie dogs. And uh, this is the same pan I used for chili, which was really a mess. Now, because I'm not using dishwashing detergent or anything like that, I just left it. When I heated it up again, it all fell off, and plus it had tomato sauce, so it added a little flavor to my, uh, my veggie dogs and potatoes. So. Um, it's great, efficient, works. Anyway, I'm gonna warm up with my coffee. I want to show you around because you just you just have to see it sort of live what it's like here. I mean, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Frozen boots ah, are a hassle to get in anytime it's cold. I'm good. Well, it probably looks like I'm going to rob a bank. But. When it's this cold, you need this. Your nose, your hands, your feet can freeze up so quickly. It may look scary, but it keeps you warm. In my last video, there seemed to be a lot of confusion as to what animal made the howl. Was it a wolf or a coyote? In my mind, there's only one answer. But please feel free to challenge it. Can you believe it that some idiot went out in the snow without his snow brush? I'm using my uh, curtain rod and my little inside brush. And some duct tape. You always have to have duct tape.
Well, before the storm gets too bad, I'm going to hit the road. I enjoyed my little getaway and highly recommend Dinosaur Provincial Park any time of the year. The worst thing for your trailer in the winter is not the ice and snow, it's the salt and the gravel. This baby's getting a car wash when it gets back. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my other ones as well. Happy camping!